And Newsmax making the call, the GOP officially taking control of the House yesterday. Kevin McCarthy in line to be the next speaker in the Senate. Mitch McConnell says that he has the votes he needs to stay in the majority. Joining us now with what we can expect. May not uh, be um, voting tomorrow. Uh, but I think the outcome is pretty clear. I want to repeat again. Uh, I have the votes. I will be elected. The only issue is whether we do it sooner or later. All right, joining us now with what we can expect today, Oklahoma Senator James Lankford. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. You bet. Good morning. Good Senator. to see you as well. Congratulations to Kevin McCarthy and the uh, House Republicans. We're yeah, it looks like he'll pull that. through in January, Senator. Congratulations to you, by the way, in Oklahoma last Tuesday. Those results coming in fast on election night. Uh, overwhelming uh, majority voting for you uh, in, in Oklahoma. Uh, so you'll be a senator there for another six years. So congratulations. Um, I want to talk if only about the other states. Were, if only the other states were counting as quickly as Oklahoma. Yeah, they, they should take some notes from your senator, state. I didn't want they you to can. say that because I don't want to go down that, that path right now because I, I've, I've got some comments about that. Um, but I want to talk about the Senate today. Mitch McConnell versus Florida Senator Rick Scott today. Leadership uh, in the Senate on the line. Take us through what we can expect today. So there'll be a meeting in about an hour and a half here in the Senate. It'll be a protracted meeting. We had a three-hour meeting yesterday. There'll be probably a two or two and a half hour, maybe more uh, meeting today where we'll talk about the timing. Uh, and then we'll also talk about the process. This is actually when the election is done the last two decades. Uh, this date has been the election time period. So everyone knew uh, this was the time when the election was to be done. Uh, people have already been putting out those that were going to run for the different uh, uh, spots have already been putting out that, hey, they were running for that, already been talking to other members about it. Rick Scott announced yesterday that he was going to also uh, jump in and be able to do that. And a couple of members have asked for a delay on that. There'll be a first a debate about that today, whether it needs to happen today or not. And then there'll be actually the nomination process and the actual speeches and everything behind closed doors, uh, which is, again, the typical process of this. All right. Well, the pre-midterm planning uh, from the GOP coming into question following the midterms, do you think any issues were underestimated by Republicans? I think there are a couple of things that are happening. We'll, we'll have to watch in the days ahead as we get more information and more data from the American people. But the American people make their own decisions. And it's funny, the number of people that catch me and say America's really divided, they'll look at D.C. and they'll say, D.C. looks very divided. And I'll say, welcome to what's happening in our families, in our communities, in our workplaces. Uh, the last now two years, uh, America has sent uh, equally divided government uh, that's happening here in the Senate with a 50-50. Now, it's, it's, it could be 50-50 again. We hope for Herschel Walker. In fact, I encourage people to jump in and help Herschel on this. Uh, but we've got to be able to have an, an equally divided Senate as we have a very closely divided House as well. And then we're going to see where it goes from here. But I think it had, did catch a lot of people off guard just how divided America still remains. Yeah, and a lot of Democratic senators up for re-election in 2024. So that 50-50 Senate is going to be all important over the next two years. Can you talk about Mitch McConnell's popularity? Now, he's, he's been there for a long time. Um, he's done a lot of good. Uh, when Donald Trump was president, he got three conservative justices uh, appointed to the, the high court. Uh, Merrick Garland never got never got a hearing. He's, he's appointed judges or made sure that has happened throughout the country. Uh, but he's not extremely popular, particularly with the Trump base. Uh, w what do you make of that? Yeah, the, the, the challenge that McConnell always has on this, he's very close to the vest. He's very careful with his words. He's very precise on this. We live in a time period where people want someone more outspoken, someone more persuasive. And so a lot of folks in the base look at him and go, hey, he just looks like uh, he's not enthusiastic about this. He has passionate about it, but he's very, very close to the vest. And that creates his own his own challenges on how he actually get the message out. You are correct. There are areas where Mitch McConnell has been the hero on judges, on multiple other issues on this. And then there are areas that people disagree with him. That's with everybody, by the way. McConnell has the difficult position of trying to be able to pull together a group of eagles, that is the American Republican senators, and to try to get that group to be able to fly together. We're all very independent. We all represent our own states. And it's very difficult to be able to pull that kind of group together. We don't all think Absolutely. alike. I don't always vote like Mitch McConnell. Uh, but uh, we also have a very open door to be able to have very hard conversations behind scenes. And what I, I'm pushing personally for Mitch to do is to be able to open up more 
allow more engagement in the process on that because I think it's going to be very important in the next two years. Yeah, those conversations so important. Sir, we have about 15 seconds. Just want to get your reaction to former President Trump making his announcement last night that he will be running for president in 2024. You know what? We're still we're still counting votes from the 2022 election and the 2024 election has already started on this. Yeah. We're going to see a bunch of folks jump in on this. It's been interesting in Oklahoma. I'm already hearing people excited about Trump. I'm hearing people excited about other Republicans. This is why we do primaries so we can all determine what direction we want to go as a party and then we as a nation will determine what direction we want to go as a nation 2024 so welcome to the 2024 race at this <laughs> Here we point go. glad he's jumped in there's a lot of other folks that'll jump in too that is an endorsement right there if i've ever heard one <laughs> senator <laughs> um just kidding congratulations to you i've just looked at it 64 percent of the vote uh for you in the state of oklahoma congratulations thanks no crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.